Smoking with friends can be a great time. It can open you up to new activities or experiences that you might not get into if you're smoking by yourself. But there's also a lot of people that can just flat out ruin the sesh. Now, my video yesterday was about things that can ruin your high. And one of the things on the list was people. Well, I'm here to break down a lot of the different types of people that could just flat out ruin the sesh and ruin your high. So before we tell you the worst, the best people to smoke with are hanging out in my Twitch stream tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern. If you have Amazon Prime, you can give me that that Jeff Bezos weed money. Every prime is an extra milligram of edibles on Halloween. But the first person that can ruin the sesh, they're, they're at a lot of seshes. They're, they're in a lot of places. Is the competitive stoner. Now, naturally, some people are just going to be able to smoke more, dab more, or whatever it is. But some people, they try to push everybody else around them to get on their level and do what they do. But they might have a higher tolerance and they know that not everybody can handle it. So it's like, I'm trying to flex on you while we're smoking. Nah, bro, pack another. You're up. You're up. You're up. But it's like, if I'm good, I'm good. Let me chill. If I'm high... Let me just hang out. Now, it can be fun from time to time to maybe push yourselves with your friends a little bit to just try to get a little bit higher. But somebody that makes it a whole competition and they're trying to win, like, it's getting weird. You're win You're trying to win at the smoke sesh? You're trying to be the number one player at the smoke sesh? You're going to go brag to your other group of friends? Yeah, bro, I was smoking with four people the other day and I was the best at it. Competitive stoner is kind of weird. Now, another one, the second person that can ruin the sesh, maybe they make it better for some people, but it's the overly nostalgic stoner. Now, this is somebody who probably doesn't smoke regularly or every day. They do it every few weeks or a few months. And every time they try to sesh, they want to recreate the last time they got high or recreate some experience they had years ago. And it's never going to happen. Come on, bro. If we smoke strawberry cough and we eat peanut butter cookies and we watch The Lion King, trust me, bro, we're all going to be singing Hakuna Matata. It's going to be the best time ever. They got some crazy story they're trying to hit you with. Like, nah, bro. One time me and my buddy skipped school and we smoked behind the dumpster at Walmart. It was the best time ever. We got to do that. Where's the nearest Walmart? This person usually gets high off of one or two tokes and they're really just trying to relive some nostalgic experience they had. Now, I'm not saying it won't be fun to relive that nostalgic experience, but if you didn't have that experience with them, it's probably not as fun for you. Like, Lion King's good, but like, maybe there's another movie I want to watch. Do we have to go behind the Walmart dumpster? Can we just go inside the Starbucks at Target? The third worst person or the third person that could just ruin the sesh is the complaining stoner. I mentioned this in my last video, but some people just, they got to complain about everything when they get high. I'm not sure what it is. They're going to complain about the flour, the dabs that you're smoking. They're going to complain about the piece like oh this flower is not that good bro it doesn't even taste uh, it's not even that loud bro oh this piece kind of sucks bro i don't like the way it hits bro i don't i don't like this piece Do you have anything else i don't can we put my playlist on this music kind of sucks bro i don't like this you got any other stuff bro can we change the channel i don't like this show can we watch something else if you start getting high and just complaining about everything around you i don't want to smoke with you and probably nobody that you smoke with likes smoking with you this person is notorious for showing up at the sesh without weed and then telling you your weed is bad. Now, if it's bad, it's bad. But like, even if it's good, the complaining stoner will say it's bad. Now, the fourth person that ruins the sesh, I'm not going to say that they ruined the sesh for me, but I've heard a lot of people complain about it. And I can understand what they're coming from. But somebody who just falls asleep instantly, like you take a hit 20 minutes later, you're like, where's Steve at? And he's just asleep on the couch. Doesn't matter. You, you, you're dabbing, you're smoking, you're having edibles. It's like, bro, it's 10 minutes later the edibles haven't even kicked in yet why are you asleep the dude might just be overworked and might not get enough rest but like i've seshed with some people and i've honestly i've been this guy early on when i was getting into smoking before i started doing it regularly i would just get like too high and then pass out i'd hang out for 30 40 minutes and then i'd be like <laughs> So it's not that bad, but like you want to go hang out with your buddy and have a good time, but that he's just asleep. It's like, well, I'm going to draw dicks on your face. <laughs> All right, don't do that. I'm kidding. Uh, the last one on the list for today, I'm only going to include five. There's probably a million people that are, are the worst person at the sesh or that'll ruin your high. But the Graham Reaper, all right? This person just overdoes it. They, they don't know what they're doing. They're all about the flex. They might fall in line with the competitive stoner, but they're not always competitive about it. They're just going to blast through your supply. They're not going to check. You got a, a whole gram of concentrate. They're going to dab half of it on their first go. They're constantly waiting wasting concentrate this is the type of person that puts way too big of a dab on the nail takes like a 10 second inhale and just coughs for a while or they just don't finish the hit and you're like okay you 
you really only hit like 12% of that. I'm gonna need you to keep inhaling, bud. They're the person that without asking will just start cracking into your Keef catch. Oh, hey, bro. I, I know I'm new here. Let me just check into the bottom here. Oh, it looks like you got a lot of Keef. I'm just gonna start packing that. Hey, buddy. Chill out. They usually don't supply anything for the sesh. This is this is why it's bad. They usually don't bring anything and then they try to smoke the most. They're not pushing everybody to do it. They're just like, oh, bro, let me get whatever I can get. They're taking three puffs before they pass. They're like, well, hang on, hang on, hang on. I just need one more hit. I didn't really get a good one. It's usually in my experience, the person is not super efficient with it. They're wasting their hits. They throw way more dab on the nail than they need or than they could possibly inhale. It's harder to do with flour, but it's still possible. Somebody that just lights a bowl way too big than what they can clear and hit. And then you just have this chimney of a cherry just sending off smoke for like four minutes. Hey, uh, bro, you gonna finish that? They're holding on to the piece. You're like, do I just do I just rip it out of their hand and start inhaling, or do I wait for them to finish it? If you see one of these people I mentioned at your next sesh, maybe send them this video. We need some more subscribers. Leave me a comment. Let me know who's the type of person that just ruins the sesh for you. Come get high with me on Twitch, 9 p.m. Eastern. See you for the smoke sesh. Bring that Amazon Prime.